Computer optimization isn't meant for only weaker machines. Stronger machines even need them the most. I've seen well-built machines cripple down in speed because they haven't been optimized for months, sometimes a year or two. One thing to note is that most machines do well at optimizing themselves, but for most Windows users, you would have to optimize manually because Windows doesn't do a great job at auto-optimizing. I'm going to be doing this in two parts, the overall computer optimization and then Resolve and Premiere Pro optimization. There are so many things to look out for when it comes to the overall optimization. One will be disabling high memory consuming startup apps. Personally, this is what I do the moment I get a new computer. After I'm done installing all my softwares or games on this new computer, I head over to the task manager, select startup. From here, I disable any startup apps that consumes too much memory. These apps consume too much memory even if the computer is not in use. Disabling all those apps helps your computer's startup time much less. Again, pay attention to bloatwares. If they are of no use, get rid of them. 2. Change your PC power settings. This happens mostly on laptops. Now, what this does is your laptop by default would always be set to better performance. Now, when this happens, it means your PC would be reserving performance in exchange for battery life. If you are running a laptop with a discrete GPU or an integrated GPU, kindly hit on the battery icon and push the slider to best performance. Note, it is mostly advisable to have your laptop on charge if you are going to be using this best performance option because it takes up a lot of energy to produce the speed. But if you have a stronger battery, you are good to push the slider up. Number three will be virus. Okay, so real quick, let me share this with you. You see, there is this level of speed or fan noise you hear when you execute certain tasks on your computer. A good example will be rendering or exporting. Until these tasks are done, your computer never gets quiet. But I figured my computer had been very noisy and super slow even when I wasn't burning anything. I couldn't render anymore. I tried every optimization and PC fix I came across on the internet and still found no solution. Until three days later, something told me, something told me to check my task manager and there it was. My CPU had hit in between constant 98 and 100 while the RAM had also clocked 20 gigabytes. Dude, like that was some Bitcoin mining level crap going on on my computer without my knowledge. After running a few different antiviruses, I was able to get rid of it. Now as a PC user, you should always be able to tell if there's anything wrong with your computer. If it's constantly overheating, if it's idle, or you are someone who experienced too many app crashes, don't ignore the signs. Find a solution to the problem real quick, else your productivity will slow down and as we all know, slow productivity equals bad business. Okay, so my number 4 would be clearing temporal files. One thing you should know is the more you keep running heavy tasks continuously on your computer, the more cache files and offline web pages pile up, thereby amassing a huge part of your hard drive space for nothing. These are unwanted files, so we have to get rid of them. There are so many ways of clearing temporal files on PC, but this is how I do mine all the time. I right click on the Windows icon, select Run. A set box shows up. Type in the box percentage temp percentage and hit enter delete every file you see in there from here go into the recycle bin and empty them yeah so these four steps are the most common solutions i go for anytime i feel a drop in speed files working now let's move on to optimizing our editing software let's begin with premiere and then we will do davinci okay so number one will be gpu previewing now, Premiere Pro can real-time preview in three different ways. One is CPU, which is the software only, right? This means you want to hand over all the workload to the software. You don't need the help of your GPU. That's what it means. But as you click on the drop-down, if you get to realize that is the only option you are getting, then it simply means you have no GPU in your machine. Number two is going to be OpenCL. Now OpenCL shows up for people running AMD graphics 
and other integrated GPUs. And then we have the third one to be CUDA. Select this option if you are running an NVIDIA GPU. One other thing to note is that before you start with a new project, you are greeted with a box here. The first option, which is software only, is always selected by default. So it is always up to you to go in there and select which one matches your GPU type. In case you forgot to select it here before starting your project, never mind. You can still access it from here. Go to File. Select Project Setting. Hit on General. Then use the Render drop-down menu to select your preference. Now your machine is going to offload some of the tasks from the CPU onto the GPU if you had OpenCL or CUDA selected. Number two would be directing your media cache to a different drive. By default, your media cache are stored on your OS drive. This works okay, but it is not optimal for performance because the OS drive should only mostly be focused on delivering its best read and write performance to your OS and your applications. It's better to move your resources to a different drive if possible. If your drive isn't partitioned or you don't have a second hard drive, just ignore it. But if you do, you can consider this option. It's nothing dangerous. If anything should happen, the software would go back to its default setting if you mistakenly take out a drive or whatever drive that you redirected your cache files on. So now this is how to get it done. Select Choose Preference Go to Media Option From there, you can see a Media Cache Database. First of all, select the Clean option. Wait for it to finish and then select Browse. Create a folder and give it a name of your own choice and select that folder. Now you are done. Congratulations, you've redirected all your cache resources onto a different drive separate from where you installed your OS. Number three is going to be decreasing your preview resolution to enable a smooth playback. Now one thing you should notice this option only reduces the quality of your video in the timeline in order for you to have a smooth playback. Your final render or exported video wouldn't be affected even if you hit on export whilst this feature is still on half or quarter. Number four is always make sure you grade or color correct on an adjustment layer. Using an adjustment layer gives you the option to be able to toggle on and off a layer, especially if you are done with the grading but still want to do some minor works like edit some effects and stuff when you are finally done and ready to export you can toggle back the adjustment layer this procedure adds more speed to your workflow than grading in actual footage okay so moving on i would like to um talk about one problem that i regularly see online and i think most users are unable to find a solution to it and it has to do with graphics driver update one thing to note about graphics driver update is not all up-to-date graphics drivers are okay, especially when it comes from Intel or AMD. Now, let me use one machine we got here as an example. It's an HP laptop with an integrated Intel GPU. Now, what happened was the driver update this particular version had from Intel in February 2022 was really fast. But then we realized our works couldn't render or export anymore it renders or exports to a point and then stops both premiere davinci blender or any software we had on this machine that used gpu now this is one problem that took us a lot of time to find solution for because we searched everywhere online and nobody seemed to find an answer to it you could have your work render from 0 to 9 sometimes 0 to 16 and then it stops it would be there for years it would never move but finally we were able to get a solution for this and it was going back to an old driver now what you have to do is to search online for an old driver to your machine's driver right download uninstall the newly installed driver that is giving you problems and install the old driver and your machine will be back to life it took Intel three months to release another driver to fix that problem you see I don't know how many people have gone through a driver update issue like that, but if that happens, just download an old driver and your work should render fast after that. If none of what I have spoken seems to solve your problem, then your issue could maybe be a corrupt hard drive or a weaker hard drive, 
it's either your hard drive is corrupt or it's weak it's old for that matter and if this happens most often you would get to realize your actual windows is crashing anytime you run heavy tasks for a very longer time you get to realize your windows crashes the possibility of your hard drive being corrupt or weak is high when your windows constantly keeps crashing 